What up guys, it's Gun uh <laughs> Wrong channel. Uh I'm the poverty chef. Check it out, kid. What up guys, it's Poverty Chef today and we're back with another unique meal for you. Uh today, as you can tell by the title, we're gonna be doing spaghetti squash and pig's feet. But first, I caught this little gem when I was cooking it. You know what that is? That is boiled, congealed blood. Oh yeah, well, some of you would argue that it was myoglobin. I would argue that it's a mix of both. However, doesn't matter. It's going to be delicious. Mmm. It's not delicious. But it is nutritious. So we're going to try a couple new things today. Uh, I boiled both of them and I boiled them together. So that the spaghetti squash would take on some of the flavor of the of the meat, and uh, the problem with that is when you boil the spaghetti squash, you got all this runoff here, and then uh, when it's on my plate and I put the barbecue sauce down there, it's gonna mix up in the. It, it just causes a lot of problems. So baking it is probably better. You can also microwave it, uh, but first thing you want to do is just scrape all that delicious. Plant. I boiled this plant alive, by the way, so it suffered Im immeasurably uh, for me to enjoy this meal and to bring you guys entertainment. So, uh, thank you, Spaghetti Squash Gods, for your uh, your sacrifice. Mm. Now, we're going to try something. Ooh! This Spaghetti Squash is slightly sweet and a little buttery, so you know it's a good one. And it was big, too! So... Oh man, you get a large size fruit and that flavor together. Very nice. Now, I live by myself, so double dipping is okay. Uh, but for some of you, you may want to use a separate utensil than the one you eat with to get your mayonnaise. Uh, it sounds hilarious, but we are going to be using mayonnaise with the spaghetti squash. Right? So... Mayonnaise is basically just the cheap man's Alfredo. It's very good. It's very, very spicy. I'm kidding. I, <laughs> I think Tapatio is spicy. I think uh, Tabasco sauce is garbage. And I think mayonnaise is delicious, but not spicy. By the way, if you're coming here and you're like, white people don't like spices, which that's also my white people voice, by the way. Or my, uh, oh, excuse me, Karen, can you get my 401k ready? Uh, <laughs> um, England invaded half the world looking for spices, so I don't know where the stereotype that white people don't like spices comes from. Invaded half the goddamn planet looking for spices. As the, uh, as the nerds may say, the spice must flow. Uh, excuse me, fly! God damn it, piece of sh- I'm sorry. It's It's been getting angry at me. As you saw in the last episode, he freaking- I didn't even notice him until I was editing it. Fluttered around the camera. We're getting all the spaghetti squash out here. You know what I'm saying? Oh, yeah. Takes a lot of- a lot of scraping. I feel like I'm, I'm scraping the inside of someone's skull right now. And I gotta mix this even better now. Oh shit, it's in the water! Spilled the water. See, just just microwave them. Or bake them. Don't boil them. Now I got my, my mayonnaise and spaghetti squash in the water. Oh man, that's this meal's already looking down. It's okay though. It's okay. I'm gonna scrape all that good stuff out of here. This thing is hot as hell. It's burning my thumb. That's alright though. And you can give this to the dogs. That's okay. Which one of you wants a spaghetti squash shell? Uh, for five minutes of cuddles is, is what I'll sell this for. Who's willing? You know what? Fight for it. They're not going to fight for it. But they did race for it. Mmm. Immediately. With the mayonnaise, it tastes... Exactly like spaghetti with mayonnaise. 
Um, it's very delicious. It's very good. By the way, if you don't If you don't fork half a plate of spaghetti into your mouth and then suck the rest of it in like a normal human being, you just don't belong here, okay? Now, we do the barbecue sauce. That's right, Sweet Baby Ray's Honey Barbecue Sauce. Now, I think I already covered this before. Actually, I did in the liver video. Um, well, the poverty chef, well, you're a poverty chef, not a middle class chef. How can you afford sweet baby rays? Well, sometimes there's something you don't skimp on, and that's barbecue sauce. Ah, it's already mixed it in the water. It's okay, we're just going to eat the stuff on top, and then we'll drink the stuff on bottom. So, I don't have my knife with me. I do have a knife, but I'm not going to go get it. I'm just going to eat with my hands. Um, and I mean, pig's feet are almost a pig, like a finger food anyway. And by the way, if you have not been to the south and had some pickled pig's feet, oh man, you are missing out. Pickled pig's feet is a treat. Excuse me. Hey, get away. So right here, this is just pork skin. It's basically a, a, an unfried pork rind right here with barbecue sauce on it. Got a very dense texture, something a lot of people might not like. It's dense and almost crunchy, but it's not like you're eating bones or anything, which I'm not against eating bones. I'm just saying this is not the same as eating a bone. I like to look at millennials and be like, when I was your age, I had to eat bones to survive. You merely adopted the Great Recession. I was born into it. Molded by it. I need a coffee mug. I can do it better. Maybe if I got my bean can that I drink out of. You know what? Let's do that. Stay. You touch my food, I'm beating your ass. With my feet. I got my drinking can. You merely adopted the Great Recession. I was born into it, molded by it. I just wanted to do that. That has absolutely zero relevance to the show now. But I think it was funny. Now, I didn't realize that pigs' feet are so finicky. Normally, I feed them to the dogs. But, I'm trying them out myself. I had them once before, but I was being a picky bitch about it and not really eating any of it. But, you know, I'm, I'm really, I'm not even done eating yet and I'm already craving a spaghetti squash with mayonnaise. That is really good. I definitely recommend it. Spaghetti squash with mayonnaise. But you gotta be careful, right? You always put less than you need if you don't know how much to put. Because, oh, that's cartilage. You just gotta swallow the cartilage hole. You're not chewing that up. Um, what was I talking about? I don't know, I forgot. I'm gonna go back and edit, I'm gonna be like, son of a bitch, that was funny and I could've, Finished it, but... Fuck, what was the top? I don't know. More cartilage. The good thing about eating cartilage is that, one, you're not wasting any. And two, you're not, um, I mean, 
mean, like it's good protein. By the way, I remember now. Um, mayonnaise in your spaghetti squash. You don't want to, if you put too much, then you got to go freaking rinse it off and that makes it all nasty and stuff. And plus, I mean, you're, you're adding more water to your perfectly cooked, finely tuned al dente pasta. <clears throat> Excuse me. And I mean, do you really want to do that? So always put less than you need if you don't know how much. And then, excuse me, jeez. And then um, if it's not enough, if it's not your liking, you can always add more. You see that? That's all flesh attached to this little piece of bone. I'm trying to avoid the bone. Just because, like, it's too big to chew up, and it's, or it's too small to chew up, and it's too big to, um, to swallow whole. I mean, I could probably get away with it, but. but you know what? Let's try it. So, if, uh, if my corpse is half-eaten, and, uh, y'all discover this video, you know what happened. Not gonna happen. That bone is too big to swallow. So really the biggest problem with pig's feet is just the fact that there's so little meat and so much bone. However, the price is good. It was like 120 a pound. No, that was liver. This is 149 a pound. At my local Macy's. Being poor is hard. Well, I'm going to finish this and I'll put you guys through the torment of watching me. Uh, however, go ahead and boil that like button. Um, rinse off your subscribe button. Not literally though, right? Like if you're putting your phone, in, especially if you have hard water like me, you're getting those calcium ions and other minerals in your phone and you're gonna wear out the circuit board. So you don't wanna do that. Uh, but proverbially, metaphorically rinse your subscribe button. Um, that doesn't really make sense. What I'm saying is hit the subscribe button, okay? And uh, leave a comment. Discussion is the best. Discussion is way better than likes. It's way better than subscriptions. It's way better than sex. Because I don't have any. Because uh, I'm poor. <laughs> um, so, you know, just go ahead and do all that stuff. And I will see you guys in the next episode.